Hi guys, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I'm playing with the Adoring Hearts bundle from our 2024 Spring Mini Catalog. This is a really fun bundle. Not only does it have the dies and stamps, but it has this really cool embossing folder. And uh, Stamp Up has introduced a brayer into our product line, and this brayer is awesome. I'll tell you, at first I was like, eh, you know, well, now that I've started playing with it, I can't stop. I've made hearts in every color of the rainbow. It's easy and it's very satisfying. So I'm gonna show you how to make some hearts today. Um, I do have another Brayer video that um, has some chocolate hearts, if you will, for Valentine's Day. So make sure you check that out. Um, I made a little box for Valentine's Day, just for you. I mean, I guess it could be any time. And inside it holds, are you ready? Little nuggets, Hershey nuggets, one, two, three, four, five. Now these Hershey nuggets I bought, I don't know why they're purple with a little bow, but they're so cute. I got them, it was like a little individual package of Hershey nuggets at my grocery store. Um, and that's all I had. So for the project, I ordered a giant bag. <laughs> and these aren't quite as cute, but we're going to wrap them with some coordinating designer series paper, which will make them super cute. Let's see, I'm gonna get all silver, okay? Okay, so let's let's make the box first and then we'll make those really cool hearts. Um, you're gonna need a piece of, if I can get it picked up. Come on, nails, you gotta work. Um, this is bubble bath cardstock that measures five and a fourth by eight, okay? On the short side first, score it at three, four. Whoa, my, my uh, <laughs> scoring tool just went crazy three-fourths of an inch, two and a fourth, three and four and a half, okay? Turn it on the long side and score it at three-fourths, one and a half, six and a half, and seven and a fourth. All right, grab your paper snips. Your piece is symmetrical, so it doesn't matter which side you start on, okay? We're gonna first cut out these four the little two squares and little two rectangles and the same on this side. So just go ahead and cut those babies off. Okay. We'll do the same thing over here like this. Okay, now we're gonna cut off these corners and these corners, the squares. And when you do that, let me, Okay, let me let me do that and then we'll we'll go into the other part. I have to think about what I'm doing, otherwise I'm gonna mess this up. All right. Now we want these flaps to fold in this way. So I'm actually gonna cut this way and this way. And I'm also gonna cut off the outside corner like that. And I'm gonna cut out cut off the outside corner of that one. All right, so that's what you're looking at. We're gonna fold these in like this and then fold this over like that, okay? All right, so cut the two outside corners off. Okay, and then from the short side, you're gonna cut in, cut that off cut in and cut that off. Cut the corners off of this guy. Well, that was kind of a crooked corner, but I think it'll be all right. And there. All right, last but not least, up here, this is the part that's gonna tuck in, and I'm just gonna cut a very shallow corner off, like that. Now let me lay it down so you can see exactly what I've done. Okay, this is what your piece should look like, okay? All right, now I'm gonna use liquid glue and I'm gonna grab my clothes pens. I'm gonna put a little bit here and a little bit here. I'm gonna take these, fold them in, fold this guy up and fold this guy over like that. Okay, so it's kind of sandwiching those little pieces in. All right, same thing over here. Fold these tabs in and fold this up. And, okay guys, come on, behave. And squeeze them down. Okay. 
All right, let's get another little set of clothespins. I think we just need, well, let's do two. Okay, so now we're gonna let that dry for a minute. And while we're doing that, let's go ahead and cover our nuggets. I'm saving the best part for last. I know you're here to see me use that embossing folder <laughs> and the dies. I'm gonna make you wait. Okay, we're just gonna cover these. This is um, bubble bath um, paper from the delightfully eclectic designer series paper. Whoops, we need a little more, which is in, oh my gosh, this is making it look way more difficult than it needs to be. The delightfully eclectic paper is in the annual catalog, the big catalog. All right, so these are one by three and you just wrap them around. It really isn't all that hard. I'm just making it look hard because I'm being a klutz trying to go fast. Aren't they cute wrapped in pink? This reminds me of my daughter's nursery, my firstborn, we did pink. It was very, very pink. And this just reminds me of her nursery, this pink and white stripes, very soft and pretty. Okay, so now we'll move those out of the way. Now, for the star of the show, let's talk about this brayer. This brayer has these little legs right here. You can see that they only point one way. That's to um, stand it up on your desk. After you have ink on it, if you set it down like that, those legs are gonna keep the ink from getting on your desk. If you lay it down like that, then the brayer will be on the desk. So like if this is your desk, you can see how it sits. The little legs hold it up, okay? All right, so I like to ink both sides of my folder. That way I can have a choice. Um, do I want my ink to be on the debossed side or the ink to be on the embossed side? Embossed means the raised side. Debossed means the pushed down side. So I ink both sides. You don't have to ink both sides, but I like to do that because it really gives me some choices and they all look a little bit different. Now, when you use your ink pad, you want to make sure it's pretty juicy. So if you need to add some ink with your ink refill, go ahead and do that. I like to turn it and kind of, you know, if you just go like this, doo, 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 it's not gonna ink very well. You have to make that noise too, right? So you, but you wanna just kind of turn it and go backwards and forwards and just get lots and lots of ink on there. Now, bubble bath ink is really light. So it's gonna be kind of hard for you to see. I'm gonna add a lot of ink on here. And we are using bubble bath ink on bubble bath cardstock too, tone on tone, which is my favorite kind of stamping and inking. All right, so now that we have that, get it nice and smooth, look at it, make sure you've got good ink all over the place. Take your die and set it right over those hearts, okay? Six by six piece of cardstock. If you wanna just do a card front, you can. Two, two rows will fit on a card front. And then fold it over. Um, I have run it through my machine both ways with the die on the bottom and with the die on the top. And it, for me, it worked, both, it worked well both ways. But I'm preferring, I gotta grab this plate over here. I prefer to have the die on the bottom just because that is less movement. I'm not flipping it over, which could possibly make that die move out of the plate, out of place, which you don't want it to do. Get rid of all your plates except plate one. Set this in here. Set plate four on the top. And when you run it through, it's gonna feel kind of tight. That's okay. It's got a lot of things in there. That's why it's pretty tight. And then when you open it up, you've got these beautiful hearts. So you can see ink here on the debossed side and ink, well, actually, yeah, and then ink over here, actually, it's on the deboss side on here as well. This is the emboss side, all right? So just depending on which way you like, let's, let's compare them. I don't know, I mean, I like both. I wanna have choices. So that's why I add ink to both sides. I love that one. I like that one with the ink on the, the, the inside and not on the raised surface. All right, I also wanna point out what's in here. This is really cute, and this would make a cute um, card, um, 
a, a, a layer of a card, and then you put different colored hearts in there. In fact, I think I'm gonna save that and make one of those. All right, now, how do you clean this? I just take it to my sink and I rinse it under cold water and I dry it. That's it. No special formula or anything. It works really well. Um, the hardest part is drying it off. <laughs> okay, I have cut out several things. This is one of our new uh, Everyday Details dies, which is a really cool die set. Um, it has those little holes in it. And we're going to attach two hearts, one on the left and one on the right. And I'm gonna to try to use one of each of the designs. There's three different designs. So we'll do that one. And let's do this one. I like the way this one looks. And then I'm gonna put a dimensional right in the middle. And let's get that one that I liked a lot. That one, let's see, what does the other one look like? I like that better. That looks good. And we'll put that right there. Now, there are these other little dies in here. I have cut them out of uh, soft sea foam. And I'm just gonna stick them in between the hearts with liquid glue. Okay, I'm gonna do the bigger ones. Like that. And then we'll do the smaller ones. Here, oops, on this side. Okay, one more. Another great die that's in this set is this little white banner that you see right here. And there we go. We're gonna stamp the sentiment in soft sea foam. And this sentiment is curved perfectly to fit on our banner, just for you. So this could be a little Valentine treat, platonic Valentine treat, if you will. I know my kids never wanted to give their teachers anything that was very mushy, you know? Oops, I dropped it, hold on. They didn't want anything that said love or, you know, anything like that. So this would be a great one to give to their teacher, just for you. Maybe you have a friend at work that you wanna give it to. I give treats to my mailman. I think that's okay to give to him, don't you guys? All right, let's look at our box. We've got our five. Oh, it's just so cute with the paper, the striped paper. I love it. Like that. I gotta do a better job with adhering that paper. Put the, the trick here really is to put paper on the ends, which I did not do a very good job of. And then it'll stick. Like that. All right, you're gonna tuck that little lip in like that. Here is a piece of designer series paper. This is from the Poetic Expressions pack, which is in our 2024 spring catalog. And I'm gonna put that there. I've got some bubble bath ribbon. I don't know if I said this already, but there's a PDF on my blog right now. It's free. It has the measurements for this and the supply list, item numbers in case you wanna look them up and um, two other Adoring Hearts projects. So if you have gotten your brayer, you've gotten your Adoring Hearts folder and die and you want some more ideas, make sure you hop over there, check them out. And I'll have two others, one the day before and one the day after. All right. Now, last but not least, we're gonna stick this right on top of that ribbon. And there you go, a nice little Valentine nugget box. And boy, I got a lot of boxes to make. Look how many nuggets came in here. <laughs> this is from Walmart, there's about 100 in there, I bet. All right, you guys, let me know if you have questions. I hope you have fun with your Adoring Hearts bundle and let me know if you have questions. Happy Valentine's, everybody, bye-bye.